Maurice Prendergast was an American post-impressionist painter whose career began in the later 19th century and continued into the early 20th century. Although he was born in Newfoundland, Prendergast was raised in Boston. As a young boy, he worked as a package wrapper and was inspired by the colors and patterns he worked with daily. In 1891, he moved to Paris, where he studied painting at two different art academies, the Academy Colorossi and the Academy Julian. During his time in Paris, Prendergast became acquainted with many other artists and studied the works of Van Gogh, Seurat, and Cezanne. He was one of the first Americans to embrace the methods of Cezanne and came to adopt some of them later in his career. After returning to Boston in 1895, Prendergast began working with watercolor and monotype, which is a type of printmaking. Many of his future paintings would be done in watercolor and oil. In 1998, Prendergast traveled back to Europe, this time to Italy, where he painted in Venice. Throughout his life, he displayed his work in many exhibitions in Chicago and New York. One of these exhibitions, the National Arts Club exhibition in 1904, resulted in Prendergast befriending several other painters and after holding another exhibition with these painters at the Macbeth Galleries four years later, he became a member of the Eight. The eight artists who made up this group all opposed the views of the National Academy of Design, which was biased toward artwork that represented academic methods. However, this small association was short-lived, and although Prendergast gained some lifelong friends through it, there was not much impact it had. Many of Prendergast's paintings depict calm scenes of beaches or parks, while many others show large crowds of people experiencing daily life in the city. He used a hyper-simplistic approach to lay out the forms in his artwork, which led to many describing them as mosaic-looking. The colors Prendergast incorporated into his early paintings are very earthy. He used light browns, reds, oranges, and greens as the dominant colors in his compositions. A few examples of this style are Spring in Franklin Park, South Park. The primary source of the more vibrant colors of his paintings is the clothing of the people in them. We see this aspect represented in paintings like The Mall Central Park and May Day Central Park. Another unique characteristic of Prendergast's work is the inclusion of umbrellas or parasols held by those in the paintings. One of his more well-known watercolor pieces, titled Umbrellas in the Rain, features another crowd of people, most of whom are paired with a colored umbrella. The painting is balanced by pale earth tones like green and brown, which enhance the bright umbrellas.